Gospel of the Lord, September 11, 2013, Luke 6, 2026. Then fixing his eyes on his disciples, Jesus said, How blessed are you who are poor! The kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are hungry now, you shall have your fill. Blessed are you who are weeping now, you shall laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, drive you out, abuse you, denounce your name as criminal on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice when that day comes and dance for joy. Look, your reward will be great in heaven. This was the way their ancestors treated the prophets. With alas for you who are rich, you are having your consolation now. Alas for you who have plenty to eat now, you shall go hungry. Alas for you who are laughing now, you shall mourn and weep. Alas for you when everyone speaks well of you. This was the way their ancestors treated the false prophets. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we are looking at these blessings, not from the standpoint of Matthew, but from Luke, and they are different. Jesus starts saying, blessed are those who are poor. It's not about being poor of spirit, it's just about being poor. And then we have, like a mirror, on one side we have the blessing, on the other, the reward. Alas for you who are rich, how blessed are you who are poor, the kingdom of God is yours. Why is that? Is it possible that Jesus wants us all poor? Not at all. Poor, yes, in our mind, in a way that we know for certain that everything that we have is given by God. Even if you work hard to get it, because through yourself, your life, your strength, your, your intelligence, everything that you have, your chances, come from God. They all do. All that are good. I'm not saying, I'm not talking or implying those that, you, that we might create abusing others. That those do not come from God. But those come from the bad, from the bad one. What is the comparison? How are we comparing one and the other? Blessed are you who are poor, on the one side, and alas to you who are rich. Because when you are rich, when you have been thinking to accumulate the money without sharing anything, it might even lead you to abuse to actually exploit your brothers and then the richness has become an idol to you a small god that you want to have just compared with being poor or sharing that you have blessed are you who are hungry now because you will have your fill if god actually let many people permit many people to be hungry it is because we who have a little bit are asked are invited to participate in the goodness of God opening our hands feeling the hungry but if we become the contrary if we want to just accumulate wealth we will not want to share not even food and that's why he says and as for you who have plenty to eat now you shall go hungry because you will not share with your friend, with your brother and the same Alas for you who are laughing now how can we just pass the life laughing when we are living in such conditions there are so many people dying literally it comes to mind the problem in Syria the problem in Pakistan the people of Africa 
many other places and not we don't have to go that far away I'm sure that in your town there are many that are dying out of hunger that do not have enough to eat not enough to dress themselves so we should be also weeping a little bit he is not commanding us just to be sad but he is asking us to share to sympathize to share the pain sometimes at least to pray for those who need lest their you when people hate you this is the most important part of the gospel lest their you when people hate you drive you out abuse you denounce your name as criminal not because you did something bad but on account of the Son of Man, on account of God Himself, who has become incarnated, which is on the mirror, alas for you, or this alas for you when everyone speaks well of you. When we become politically correct, and we don't want to mess with anyone, then everybody wants to treat you well, speaks well of you. And this is the way the ancestors treated the false prophets. In the end, Jesus is asking us to follow him, as always, to become true prophets, prophets for God, to call out of the comfort zone to our brothers. By our baptism, we became kings to serve. We became priests to give cult to our Holy Trinity and we also became prophets to denounce to call upon our brothers to behave as God wants him and us to do it's not so far away from you and me to follow Christ yet it's very hard we need the strength of God the very strength of the power from heaven the Holy Spirit. Let us humbly ask the Father to pour His Spirit on us that we might become more and more like Jesus Christ and be happy, be blessed because, like He says, our reward will, will be great in heaven. Let us fight against the comfort of becoming politically correct of becoming a false prophet. We ask the Virgin Mary to teach us the way of becoming true sons in the Son. God bless you all, brothers.